Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome. This is Professor Robinson. Welcome to my lecture on ubiquitination of proteins. So, in this lecture, I'm going to talk about what is uh, the ubiquitination of proteins and what is the importance of this process and how this process occurs. So, first, the ubiquitin. Ubiquitin is a 76 amino acid long 8.6 kilodalton uh, polypeptide. And this protein, this actually occurs ubiquitously in most tissues uh, in most of the eukaryotic organisms. So what is this process of ubiquitination? The process of ubiquitination is defined as the addition of ubiquitin molecule to the substrate protein. So if you look at this picture here, let's, this blue part is the uh, part of the ubiquitin molecule. And this red, the red part actually indicates the substrate molecule. So the addition of this ubiquitin molecule to the um, substrate protein by the formation of isopeptide bond, this is called ubiquitination. In some literature, ubiquitination actually has, has been alternatively called as ubiquitylation. Ubiquitination of proteins is a reversible post-translational modification process. So, depending on the type of the ubiquitination, the fate of the ubiquitination proteins will be determined. The, one of the major fate being the ubiquitination process marks the protein for degradation via proteasome or it alters the cellular location of the protein and also the activity of the protein and ubiquitination may promote or prevent protein interactions. That's why the process of ubiquitination is really important. So now, in this slide, I'm going to talk about what and how the process of ubiquitination occurs. That will be the uh, topic of uh, discussion in this slide. So, the process of ubiquitination actually involves three different enzymes. So enzyme E1, E2, and E3. E1 enzyme, E1 enzyme are called ubiquitin activating enzyme, E2 enzyme are called ubiquitin conjugating enzyme, and E3 enzyme are called ubiquitin protein ligases. So these are the three types of enzymes that play important role in the ubiquitination process. If you have a look at this picture, this part, this blue picture here, so this is a, a ubiquitin molecule. And when ATP is actually hydrolyzed, it will release pyrophosphate. And the AMP from the ATP will bind to the ubiquitin molecule, thereby forming the active ubiquitin molecule. So, and after that, the ubiquitin activating enzyme, E1 enzyme, actually they will bind to the they will bind this active ubiquitin molecule to their the the cysteine residue of e1 enzyme so so e1 enzyme actually what it will do it will bind active ubiquitin molecule to sulfhydryl residue sulfhydryl residue of sulfhydryl group in the cysteine residue of e1 enzyme right so then what this E2 enzyme will do, E2 enzyme are ubiquitin conjugating enzyme and these enzyme will shuttle this active uh, blue, you know, colored in blue active ubiquitin molecule to the cysteine residue of E2 enzyme. Okay, so after this process, this active uh, ubiquitin molecule will be such shuttled uh, to the cysteine residue of E2 enzyme. And the third type of enzyme are called E3 enzyme. They are ubiquitin protein ligases. So what they will do is that this E3 enzyme, this represent this structure representing the E3 enzyme, it will bind actually this ubiquitin molecule, active ubiquitin molecule, to the epsilon amino group of lysine residue of the protein substrate. So thereby there will be the formation of isopeptide bond and with the ubiquitin molecule attached to the substrate protein. This red part here indicates the substrate protein, this, this whole red part. So um, by the end of this process, by, by this process, by the process of ubiquitination actually uh, has labeled the target protein with this ubiquitin molecule. 
Not only one ubiquitin molecule is added to the substrate protein, there are many ubiquitin molecules that can be added to the substrate protein. And depending on the type of the ubiquitination, the fate of the ubiquitinated protein will be determined. I hope this video was helpful in understanding in brief the concept of uh, the ubiquitination of process. Please um, like, share and subscribe and also uh, give your feedback if you feel uh, there is a room of improvement. Thank you very much for your attention. Um, thank you.